I recently overheard a conversation regarding life. A philosophical debate about whether we are living or dying. One individual had said, you only live once. And their companion retorts, that's wrong. We are always living. You only die once. I thought to myself, it can't be that simple, can it? If it is, why does that bother me? And, you know, in truth, this wasn't really a debate. It was just a generational intersection manifested in the contention of the acronym YOLO, or Y-O-L-O. And so I thought that was a little insincere. But I'm not one to subscribe to binary thinking, and you might think that this isn't worth splitting hairs over. But for me, it's hard to ignore the metaphor when you split wood every day. It reminded me of a conversation that I'd had with a friend about the contrast of the largest and smallest examples of infinity. Uh, for example, the largest being alternate realities or the multiverse, and the smallest being integers on a number line or variations in color on a spectrum. I thought to myself, if zero represents non-existence or preconception, and one represents death or the end of life, then what value does life itself actually have? And how can we quantify it? You'll notice in the video that I chopped wood in half many, many times. But at no point did the small splinters ever reduce to zero. And so in comparison to the grandeur of the universe, we ourselves are minuscule, but we are not insignificant. And regardless of whether you believe yourself to be living or dying, we are the inversion of the grandest concept conceivable. And so I'd like to leave you with this thought. For so long as you have life, you are infinite.